Hey guys, in this video, I just wanted to share with you my new projector, this uh, Vankyo Cinemango 100 that I recently picked up from Amazon. Now, it is a replacement to my older LG uh, HW300T projector that I've been using for the last few years. I did do a review on it, I think about six or seven years ago, and uh, I was really happy with the projector. It worked really well, but unfortunately it died on me and I needed to uh, look for a replacement. And that's what, this is what I picked up, which was the um, Vankyo Cinemango 100. So just like my HW300T by LG, this is also a LED projector. And uh, it is about the same size. It's I would say it's slightly bigger, but it does have um, a bit more features than the uh, the LG one that I had before. In that, it has two uh, HDMI inputs. So I'm going to quickly unbox this. I picked this up on Amazon, like I mentioned, and it came in a couple of days. It was uh, sent via Prime shipping. So the projector does come with this nice little uh, zippered case. I don't think I'm going to be using it much, but it's nice, especially if you plan on using this like uh, as a portable uh, unit where you can take it with you when you travel or when you go to uh, meetings and stuff. But uh, it's not something I would probably use. You can probably use the case for something else like a lunch bag as well. And uh, here is uh, the instructions, which you're probably not going to read. So I'm just going to put that aside. And... It comes with your your power cables. Uh, actually, that's the HDMI cable. Uh, yes, it is HDMI. It's really nice of them to include one because most of the time they don't. And here's the power cable. Um, and here is a VGA cable if you ever want to hook it up to an older style uh, computer. What else does it include? So there is a remote. So this remote resembles the remote that you would get with say an Amazon Fire Stick or maybe even an Apple TV and here is the RCA cable for red, uh, red, white and yellow which is basically left, right audio channel and then video and here is a stand I believe that screws on the bottom of your uh, projector so you can adjust the height of the height and angle of the, um, the projection and Finally, we have the actual uh, unit itself. It is slightly bigger than my old projector, but it's still a decent size in, in terms of like uh, portability. It's not too bad. Um, it's a little thicker than I thought, but still very useful. And that's where the screw goes, and that will help you basically aim the uh, image onto your uh, wall or screen. So once you take off the protective cap, let's quickly take a look at the uh, outside of the projector and see what it has. So I'm going to quickly peel off this um, piece of paper here. And this is where you adjust the, like the focus of the beam, I guess. There's basically two knobs here that will adjust the uh, focus to help you get it uh, sharp. And that's what you need to do in terms of focusing it. And here are some directional buttons, uh, some other buttons that for selecting input and back and stuff like that. That you probably won't use as much because you'll be using the remote instead. And this is the back. So you got the VGA connection. You got two HDMI connections, which is really awesome. You have uh, audio input as well as uh, headphone out. And we have as well um, these two USB ports and a card reader and we have the power. So it's a fairly nice sized unit. Uh, on the sides are just basically the venting holes and on the bottom not a whole lot going on there. So I have this projector in my bedroom and it is mounted onto this tiny little Ikea shelf and it doesn't support a lot of weight but thankfully the projector isn't that heavy and for displaying video and stuff I use the Amazon Fire Stick so I have it uh, plugged up in the back it takes up very little space and uh, you can barely see it when I have it installed you can see that little adjustable knob that I use to um, adjust the height of the image when I'm projecting it onto the wall so over on this side, this is where I'm projecting it onto. There's nothing on this side. It's completely blank. 
and it's just a white wall and uh, that's where it's pointing at. So all the wires that uh, plug up to the projector runs down this cable management thing and it, I think it does a really good job in hiding the wires. There's also a Nintendo Switch that I hook up to it but you don't see in the in this video. So now that I've shown you how I mounted it I'm gonna fire this thing up and just give you a demo of what it looks like. So before I turn off the lights I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the lights on and it's kind of faint but still very usable but obviously to get the maximum clarity and whatnot you should turn off the lights so with the lights off you can see it, it looks a lot better and this is probably how you would want to use a projector anyways so most of the time when I'm watching anything in my bedroom it will probably be either Amazon Prime or um, YouTube so I'm gonna fire up YouTube here and just pick a video and show you what it is like. It's gonna look a little soft because I am recording it with my smartphone here, but uh, in person, I'd have to say the quality is pretty good. It's uh, very bright and I am actually pretty impressed with the quality, especially considering how much I paid. And it definitely is brighter than my previous um, LG projector. The audio quality of the projector probably is not that great. It sounds a little tinny, so I would recommend that you get either some small external uh, PC speakers or a smaller soundbar and then hook it up through the headphone jack on the back there to give you much better quality. I've used it for a couple of weeks now and I'd say the quality is pretty good for playing video games, whether it's Mario Kart or watching a football game or using Kodi, um, watching TV shows and stuff like that. This is definitely the way to go if you have like a darker room, like a bedroom, and you want a giant screen on the other end of it. You know, this thing could project like easily 90 to 100 inches. The size of this projection right now is about 90 inches when I measured this. So it's pretty gigantic. It really gives you that cinematic movie theater kind of feel especially with such a big screen and with the price being so low, I highly recommend it. Anyways, that's it for this review. Hopefully it gives you some ideas in terms of maybe getting a projector instead of a television uh, for watching TVs and movies. And I hope you have a nice day and I will see you next time.